Okay, so you can now. That's good. Anyway, good evening. Ah, Ajami, how are you? You are like where I'm not. Olu fiji pete mi tope. You are here since five fifteen p.m. I hope you are able to catch this live. Hello, and if you're coming in, let me know where you're coming from because I see Kofowo Rola. Kofowo Rola Walara Posi Dosumu. Sounds, I, I like for Kofowo One of my daughters is Kofowo Sorry, guys, I'm still going to get this off, you know. I've had this for a while, but I, I didn't get anywhere to wear it to. So I just thought, let me just, uh, let me wear my... This is my plain sunglasses. It's been long. I'm going to leave a link in the chat and you guys can call in. It's just one topic I'm speaking about today. And I'm going to start by saying that I'm doing this video simply because, you know, we talk a lot about Nollywood actresses dragging each other. You know, this dragation that always happens on social media is always about Nollywood actress. But this time around is Nollywood actor. You know, it's, it seems like it's the first that an actor will drag another actor on social media and it's, it's just I, I don't know how to say it i just found it amusing like oh so this does happen as well so to, just to bring light to that like not only the actresses that actually drag each other some men they do they do beef each other as well so and that is the case that happened in this situation and we are going to talk about it so i'm going to go ahead and read what i first saw before i started digging then when i did i realized that okay this is what happened this is where the situation comes from so i'm going to read to you what mike ezuronye mike ezuronye is let me show you who mike ezuronye is um i'm coming i'm coming let me show you Okay, so that's Mike Ezuronye. This is Mike Ezuronye right there, and that is Kunle Afolaya, and it's between both of them. Uh, these two actor, Mike Ezuronye and uh, Afolaya. Uh, Ojo Aminat, I can see you. I don't know if you're still going to be here. Yeah, I'm happy you are here on time as well. Ola Roti be my darling sister. Uh, Thank you so much. Anyway, let's move on. So what happened is that Mike Ezuronye, the yellow one, actually, you know, put something on his page. It's still on his page. I'm going to show you what he posted on his page. But before I show you, I just want to show you the two people. That's Mike Ezuronye and that's Kunle Afolayan. Kunle Afolayan is a movie producer, movie maker. Same thing for this guy, but Kunle Afolayan has done a lot of work. Uh, figuring, October 1st, Makaliki, uh, Full Swap, like a lot of movies, actually. I don't know a lot of Mike Zuronye movie that he produced himself, but I know that he produced movie as well. And he's, there. he's a fantastic actor. Both of them act really well. I first know Kunle Afolayan from Shawuru Ide. So anyway, let me go back and show you what Mike Ezuroye had posted on his page. Then uh, we're going to move from there. Okay, so this is what Mike Ezuroye has posted. Let me share the screen for you guys. We are going to share the screen. Then you are going to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what Mike Ezuroye had posted on his page. He said that, uh at kunle afo the one on the left in black is what warranted him to post this but let me read what he posted then maybe let me read what he posted first then i will tell you where the anger is coming from but if you can see it you can go ahead and read it so this is what mike ezu mike ezu is what uh, the name on instagram is actually mike ezu Ronye. so I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm not butchering that name, but I believe it's Mike Ezuronye. So anyway, he posted and said that the small respect I had for you at Kunle Afo, that's Kunle Afolayan, he tagged him. He said, at Kunle Afo, the small respect I had for you is gone. Yes, I wrote you that in your sick DM. You touched the wrong guy by posting this on your Twitter and Instagram stories. 
Guy, you buy wrong market. You're now acting like you don't know impersonators are using actors, musicians, politicians, celebs, fake profiles, and videos to defraud people world over. Uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Or haven't you seen the ones caught in my respect and even jailed for impersonating me by art? Official EFCC, question mark, question mark. Literally asking Kule Afo the question. And he went ahead and said that, why am I surprised? You've always hated egos. Are we going to forget in the press statement years ago, saying egos are the ones spoiling the movie industry? You don't like casting them. Well, this ego ain't like you, because he was born in Lagos and speaks flawless Yoruba and loves the Yoruba people. You tribalistic human, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Guy, I don't come meet you for anything for this life, question mark. Um, hold yourself oh, before we for we we for inside only we go talk your matter outside rubbish kunle you are too small to bring me down with this stupid unethical act shake my head if you were wise wouldn't you as a colleague call me ask question before posting this rubbish on your instagram and twitter who does that obviously you mm. Dude, if you want a problem, boy, bring it on. I'm so freaking ready. I'm never called out. I've never called out any of my colleagues on social media. But N-word, you messed up this time. Shake my head. Good readings to bad rubbish. Question, where were you when God chose me? Question mark, question mark. Always favored in his grace. You are too small. That's his hashtag to that. Before I go ahead and read what prompted all of this thing, I'm going to uh, read to you what prompted him to uh, actually say that. Let me make it bold. So I think this is what prompted that. I've never seen a man. Uh, yeah, please share it as you are coming in. Please like it. Even if you dislike what I'm doing, just click on the dislike. It makes it show on the algorithm. So don't, 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 but Bele and not click oh. You know, the way Kunle, uh, Mike Zuroye is dragging Kunle. Don't let me come and drag you too. Anyway, guys, please, as you are coming in, click the like button. So if you listen to what I read to you, because this dissertation is long, I think I need some hot, hot tea after that long dissertation. So anyway, that is what he posted. And this is what prompted it. I'm going to show you that now. Oh, you are seeing it actually. I'm not sure if it's big enough for you to read it if you haven't read it already. But I'm going to read what it said, and you know, we can move on to what Kule Afolayan has to say for himself after all of the dragation. So, and this is what the person said. This person actually, I think the person DM'd Kule Afolayan. I believe so. It looks like a DM. And if you can see on the black side, you can see Kule Afo, which means inside is DM. This person, Wadu Chibwe, messaged and said that, Hello, sir. How are you? I'm sorry to disturb if you can have time for me. I want us to talk about Mike Ezuroye because he's getting out of hand. He's not even supposed to be acting in the Nollywood. Please, we need help. Mike is posting lies on social media that he is not the one scamming women. He's very sad because he is making people not to watch Nigerian movies. And what Kunle Afolayo did in this instance is that, uh, let me let me go back. I think you get the gist now, where the anger of Mike Zuroye is coming from. So Kunle Afolayo, someone messaged Kunle Afolayo about this. And what Kunle Afolayo did is that he posted it on his Instagram story and also posted it on his Twitter. Basically saying that uh, if you see what, uh, if you can see the big, uh, Egba Mio, it won't tell me like, ah, uh -uh, please, so which one is my own business? Which one is my own business in all of this now? I think that is what he meant. And you know, he just said, ah, Egba Mio, it won't tell me like, what's my business in all of this you are messaging me about? And when I saw this, before I saw what Kuli Afolaya has wrote about this situation, you know, kind of apology, I will say apology 
or response to what Mike Zuronye said. Mike Zuronye said a lot. And why I want to do this video is number one, because you know, I've never seen Hollywood actors really drag themselves, you know, in a dragation drama like this. And secondly, because it has to do with tribalism. And we know almost everybody in Nigeria are tribalists. It's very common. If you go on Insta blog Niger, if you go on Gossip Me Niger, any of these blogs, if they're talking about something, maybe someone did something, well, it's always in Igbo land that this happened. You will hear some people say, ah, you can tell that this person is Yoruba. When you make that statement, who are you? It makes you a tribalist as well. And that is what I see in this statement of Mike Ezuroye. And before I judge like that, I don't like the fact that Kunle Afolanyo posted this thing straight away on his story or on his Twitter or whatever where he posted it. I expect him, like Mike Ezuroye said, he should have contacted Mike Ezuroye or sent the DM to Mike Ezuroye and basically said that, I got this message. I believe they are not in good time. And you can tell that there is a beef between them. With the way Mike Ezuroye writes his dissertation, you can tell that there is something brewing inside him before. You know, you just need that push to get to that stage where you can, you know, spark up and just bust out and started spitting fire. I think that is what happened in this situation. So, Kunia Falanya has since came out. Before I go on and address the message of Mike Zuronye once again, let me read, uh, let me read to you what Kunia Falanya has said. And uh, I'm going to read to you from a blog. It's actually a blog. I tried to look for it. I think he deleted it. Maybe because Mike Zuronye did not delete what he had posted on his page because that post is still on Mike Zuronye page. But the apology of Kunlea for Lion, uh, I'm, I'm going to read it to you on a, let me read to you on a blog, I, um, on a proper blog. It's on Insta blog, but it's just the shorter version. But I'm going to read to you the longer version of it, then you can see yourself that he actually apologized. I believe he realized that he shouldn't have shared that on, on his platform like that, that maybe he should have reached out to uh, this guy. So let's see what uh, Kule, Afolaya, Kule Afolaya said. And this is from a blog. I think it's Kemifi Lani News Blog. So this is what Kunle said. Okay, he said that while I did not see my, let me see if you can see here, you can see it clearly. So he said that while I did not see my innocent reaction to an indicting post by a random IG follower as capable of further hurting my friend and colleague, Mike Ezuronye. To be labeled a tribalist in retaliation is very unfortunate. Honestly, I was misunderstood. My reaction was rather spontaneous, was to cheat the IG follower who appeared to be reporting the actor to me. And I merely asked in Yoruba how all of that was my business. It was like saying, when did I become an officer of the law? Obviously, my colleague looked the context of my post wrongly and angrily, and angrily accused me of tribalism. I do not know what gave birth to such misrepresentation. However, while I am famous for living and promoting everything that my tradition stands for as a Yoruba man, I have maintained a mutual friendship with people of other extractions, egos especially. It is therefore not in the interest of both of us, Mike Ezuroye and I, to politicize our emotions and with tribal uh, coloration. For me, this is underseen. Um, hold on. Okay. For me, this is undeserved, undeserving of our other friends and goes to offend the sensibility of genuine relationship we have each cultivated with people of other tribes. On how this promoting intertribal relationship through his works, Afolayan says, in fact, I, okay. So, uh, some which includes, oh, the ideas are reflected in the themes of plots of my movies, some of which include the, the figurine, the bridge, phone swap, omugo, and roti. The movie maker for that said, so that's what Kuli Afolayan said. Let's, let's stop from there. And I will say this, when I saw what Mike Ezuronye had posted, I thought to myself, I don't see Kule Afolanyan as 
a tribalist. There is a lot of people, even in that industry, that are tribalist themselves. Because if I look at it from the beginning of Nollywood, I'm a Yoruba myself. But ever since Nollywood existed, before I started watching Yoruba movies, I prefer Nollywood English movie. And when I watch this movie, is actually, even despite his English movie, it's as if Yoruba actresses cannot really speak English because they don't get invited to the table of this Nollywood scene. And then I'm referring to like the people that are popular then are, you know, the likes of uh, Stella Damasos, Jennifer, Jennifer Naichi, Sandra Atunes, Kate Enshaw, you know, Ukeria Nunobi, Liz Benson. Just few of them were actually Yoruba, which is Shola Shuba Wale, Mama, uh, Mama Jai, God rest her soul. Very few of them actually, you know, act in, it's, it's not the same anymore. Like this thing has changed over the years. And then I remember from Kakindele struggled to get her foot in the uh, Nollywood English industry. She eventually crossed over to Yoruba. Then when she became popular through Jennifer, that is when they welcomed her into that scene. If somebody like that complained of, you know, tribalistic behavior of the Nollywood, I think she's well in her right to do so. And ever since uh, Kunle Afolaya has been doing his movies, he uses like different people from different uh, tribe, especially Igbo, like he said, is the fact, if you go and watch all of his movies, he actually, you know, break out a lot of artists, but at the same time, because he celebrated his culture on his Instagram, on his page, you know, with his children, I don't think that justify him being a tribalist. Because when Mike Zuro, you want to refer to this, he said that years back, why don't you look at it? Maybe this guy has changed. Maybe he doesn't understand better those years back that you're talking about. At some point, because the way he's talking about it, he looks like a tribalist himself. And this tribalism in Nigeria, seriously, why do we hate each other? Is bad enough that other African countries hate Nigerians. You know, Nigerians, doesn't, they don't stand each other. Why are we like this? Like, we people of color, why are we like this? Why do we hate each other so much? That's one thing I always try to, you know, get around my, you know, I'm trying to understand it. Why do we actually hate each other so much? The hate we have for each other in Yoruba culture is there. You know, Yoruba to Yoruba. The eight that Igbos to Igbos are for themselves is there. And when it now comes to Igbo, Yoruba, you know, Aousa is like a war on its own. And for Mike Ezunoye to go there, I, I don't get why, why he did that. Sometimes, you know, I'm living in the UK and I don't live in the area where there's a lot of Nigeria. The, the, the people of color in my area are majorly, they are majorly Ghanaians. And I, I'm, I'm, I make friends with them. I have a Ghanaian friend. We went to college together. We went to uni together. She's older than me till today. We are friends. Our kids are like, you know, like my younger sister. I don't see them different, even though they are Ghanaians. I don't see any other African country different. I see them as my sister. People of color, we need to stick together. And this is why the colonial master were able to tear us apart. They know we never like each other. They know we will always be a traitor to each other. And this thing is really getting out of hand, I'm telling you. I, I'm, I'm really disappointed when I saw that Kuli Afolanya posted this thing on his page, but I am more disappointed in Mike Zuroye for calling him a tribalist, basically referring to years back. How many years, I don't know. What it was about maybe two, three years ago, it might not be that now because change is the only constant thing in life. And if you have an open mind, you won't even think about that. Me, I don't, I, I do, I, I will relate with everybody. Black, yellow, green, whatever color. I only see human race. But if you say that, okay, maybe you are this to me, I am that, that is when I will now be like, no, 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 you can't do that. We are both human beings. You can't treat me like I'm like this to you and I will not treat you that way. So treat me with respect. I will treat you with respect. I don't care where you come from, your race, your color, your whatever. 
if you treat me right, I will treat you right. What you give is what you get. You know, when you give out negative energy, you get negativity. When you give out positive vibes, you get a positivity in your life. That's how I believe. And I think in this situation, they are both wrong. So I'm going to try and put the link here and invite you guys. I'm supposed to have put it there. Uh, moderator, Oyida, can you please repost this? Um, I want to see if anyone can come in if you have experienced this tribalistic behavior or you know, uh, African to African situation, all of these things. While I'm doing that, if you can click on the link, come in and chat. If not, I'm going to end the live. But before I do that, I'm going to try and read some of the comments and you know, just, just read a few of the comments and. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think I've seen these. I've seen that. Kofuorola, the sumo. I've seen that. Oh, from the United States. Yeah. Shout out to all my United States subscriber. These people, you know, these, this is the number, you know, number two on my audience. Nigeria is the number one and the, my people in America are the second one. I live in the UK and UK always come third or fourth, even fourth sometimes. Dubai comes third at some point. So shout out to all my US subscriber. I really love you guys. Okay, oh, sit down. Yeah, I've been, let me bring you on, sit down. Oh, my darling sister, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, uh, and you? Your mic, your mic. Can you yes. unmute your mic? Check yes. your mic. It's not okay, on. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you now. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I I'm still at the hospital. Yeah. Oh, how, how is it going? You look, you look all right, to be honest. You look, you look more calmer, good compared to the I last wanted, time. I yeah, I really? Yeah, and the smile is, you know, more shiny and beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your Thank face, you. Your face look, looks more calmer today. How are you doing? I'm fine, but I went to another surgery last Saturday. <laughs> three, oh days, yeah, yeah. three days ago. Uh, yeah, same but... uh same situation or another place yeah you same, same situation yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm i'm having another one too you know yeah i'm still going to have another one yeah oh god is in control <laughs> he is he is he is there and thank god for a successful surgery you know yeah, especially yeah. during this covid i'm really happy yeah. for, for you know he went to really you well and i know yeah. god is going to take charge of everything from right here and on amen he's going to get better from here and on amen <laughs> yeah you are here and you know he kept you for a purpose. Yeah. That's my belief. He kept you for a purpose. Some people yeah. didn't go through half of that and they are no more here. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's not to course. make fun of them, but just to, you know, just to yeah. see how to thank God. Like I was saying, I told, I said it yesterday. I said, you know, when I look at all the plans that I have for 2020, it's as if nothing really come to pass. But mm -hmm. one thing, I have a greater achievement this year, which is mm -hmm. being alive. Mm -hmm. Being alive yeah. is, is the greatest achievement, achievement that I have yeah. this year. I'm alive, my kids, my husband, you know, is the greatest achievement. If you cannot look at it that way, then that, that person is, is not yeah. grateful. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. So, I'm we just happy. God. To yeah, I'm happy to. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really, it's, it's good news, you know, that it's, it's yeah. successful. The second time yeah. uh, is, is yeah. good news. Especially yeah. this time is really scary to go through, you know, yeah. go through surgery. Yeah. I'm happy. Are you okay? Do you have anything to contribute to what we're talking about? Yeah. Okay, I want to hear your contribution. I saw the this, this to, the, today in this um <laughs> this blog and um, because I'm not uh follower from yeah. either Kunle Afo or Afola. Yeah, but you saw it on Insta blog. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I have to yeah. to I have yeah. I, I like yeah. Kunle Afo productions. When I see first October, 
Mm -hmm. I saw that even that movie, he used more people who speak Igbo or another that doesn't Yoruba understand people. exactly. Mm -hmm. And when I read, I say, ah, what is going on? No. I <laughs> thought it is only in my country. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, though. It's not. That's why I put it generally. It's not just Nigeria. I think Africans no. generally, we don't like each other. Yeah. It, I when don't I know why. It, when I saw it, maybe me, I was thinking maybe it was me understanding because maybe only I thought just post it to tell the person it was not the yeah, what's if, my business exactly? Yeah, if but maybe he, you don't have, of, you know, maybe if you don't, you are not in good terms with somebody and they put the matter for the person you're in, but you will not yeah. be too, you will not like yeah. to talk to the person or to send this thing to the person, you will just mm. show it to tell or he, or he could have been mature and respond to that person, say, please go to association of our. This, 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 thank um, you, thank you. Sit down exactly. Go to Nigerian Guild of Actor, or whatever the president uh, um, or the people can sort it out. For mm -hmm. you. But to post it in Twitter or to put it in story, I think is this one is what maybe they have something their mind who was no too really good. But to that, uh, the other one, Mike, uh, Mike. Mike to be wrote all those story of his life. I see like charge play. <laughs> <laughs> That's that because, dissertation is uh, uh, it's too much. Yeah, I say uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can speak your very well. Yeah, I can oh speak a little. I can oh, you try with that you, you with that it looks like you are even Yoruba. Like making legs. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, I say, ah, uh, what is saying? The person just pre says, okay, or maybe they are fighting. And to see all Kunde movie, I don't see tribalism in it. I've never seen it as well. I've never seen it. And as a Yoruba man, he even casts. He don't cast many Yoruba people self in his movie. So I thought it's me. I don't want to say that because being a Yoruba myself, it will yeah. look like, oh, you're just supporting him. No, at he, some point, he I, I think at some point I told my husband, I said, I don't understand what he's doing. He doesn't cast his own people. He's always, mm -hmm. but I, I understand this thing is business. You cast people that you think will sell your movie. Yes. I think that mm -hmm. is what it is. So yeah. I don't even bother to go there. Even a uh, Yoruba people, they are still struggle to now to enter that small. Part you that of you are not English even Nigeria, you know. I'm happy that of you course. Know. And I can see uh, Jennifer and Tony Abraham are now the two person who are struggling to enter that it, English hmm. session. Now. Do you know Messi Aibe? Yes. Do you know she started as English actress, but she never gets like all this talk. Of back. course, she, she, she has always to come to it. Yoruba. Yeah, she always say it in her page. Exactly. So what do you say about that? Um I even now see Nkechi. Ikechi is not Yoruba. No, no, she's not. She's Igbo. Yeah, she's Igbo. But she is playing Yoruba role movie. There's a lot of them, not her alone. Because she, they didn't get the chance in the in, in the other one. You say, ah, but now I see Nkechi as now people, Igbo people are calling her to because come and play out. Role. Because she yes. break out from Yoruba. Same thing with Funke Akindele, she break out from Yoruba industry. Same thing yeah. with uh, Tony Abraham, she break out from the Yoruba industry. So it's more or less like when you break through from the Yoruba industry, then you are accepted. They give you roles because then you you can contribute to the sales of the movie because I you have that is, public figure. I so, think this is no fair. See, Messi Aibe, Yapo Ojo, I think they are half part of a do people. They are not Yoruba. I know, I know. But they are playing Yoruba. I think Yoruba people are more open. Yeah, Yoruba would, I think they are more open 
to receive people more than they are under that culture of it could people. only come from you i'm not the one that said that though <laughs> i'm not from nigeria <laughs> i know i know you know when you're saying it you are outside looking him because yeah. you're from uh kutonu yeah yeah Wow. Yeah. So, but you you know what is going on in Nigeria. You can really oh. tell that this is what yeah. is going on. If I'm yeah. talking about it, it's gonna look to them as if oh, because it's your tribe. Tribalism oh. always play a role in everything. Yeah. It does it's like yeah. everything they just bring tribal tribals into you know you are tribally you are this you are that. So I don't understand why Mike Ezuroye you know resolved. Mm -hmm. that. He, he should I have done yes yeah, so. i don't think say this thing Kune, even Kune for me i was even upset of him because the first october movie he could have cast more yoruba people down <laughs> yeah but he needs to use people that will sell his movie that's what he does yeah and even he don't use many yoruba people that is what me i'm saying he don't use he don't use many yoruba people Mm. He don't use many Yoruba people, and me, I don't, I don't speak Yoruba. I don't speak English. I do I just. <laughs> <laughs> but you try but, my sister, because you literally know everybody. But I like to to me. I'm open of cult. I like culture, cult, cult, culture. I like culture, and uh, Yoruba people have a culture like our culture too. We is like we have the same culture, and I respect the thing they put in their movie together, and I see how they are growing. And the Yoruba, I I, all, I always say Yoruba people who 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 play in Yoruba movie they can still play English because they 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 go to school, they go to university, they study, they have degree, they they are masters, they can speak Yoruba freely. Oh, I'm really sorry. They can speak My Yoruba, God. they can speak English, but they don't cast them. You can never see. Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, okay, I can hear you now. Hello? 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 I can, hello, I can hear you now. I think okay. it's sounds again. You can hear me? Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, uh network. The network is bad. Oh, we lost it down. Anyway, guys, I, I think I'm gonna go now. Uh I'm gonna go now, guys. Uh, if you have anything to add to this stream. Uh, something is actually going on right now. I don't know. But if you have anything to add to this stream, I really appreciate your contribution. I mean that. Oh, well done, my your brave woman. They said, man, sorry, sister. May God grant you and help. Amen. Amen. God will grant her health, a uh, uh, perfect health. Habe, be all doom. My darling sister, true talk six. Oh, I'm enjoying this chat. Good vibes. Thanks, oh, my dear sister. This lady is really making sense. Of course, she, she, she does. If it's coming from me, a lot of them will be saying, no, you are tribalistic, you are this, you are that. But obviously coming from somebody that is not a Nigerian, this lady is actually from Côte d'Ivoire. And she has been watching from outside looking in. That is where she's speaking from. And my dear sister, I pray God is going to grant you a perfect health. And you will come out of that hospital with your two legs. It's going to be a testimony in Jesus' name. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to stop right now. Thank you so much for coming on this live. You can follow me on my Instagram. Subscribe. Like this video. Click on the like button as you're going out. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free of charge. Just click that thumbs up button. And I will see you in the next one. And if there is any story that you want me to speak about or something you see, just go on my Instagram and DM it to me. And we're going to speak on, on my Instagram DM. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And I will see you in the next chat. I think I got some other one. Okay. Thank you.
Oh, I wonder you are real. Thank you so much. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.